Hello, today we are interviewing Yan Jianhua from Zhenjiang University in China. Hello, Hello, thanks for being with us and welcome at Ecole Polytechnique. Uh, nice to meet you. It's my honor to be in Ecole Polytechnique in France. Thank you. <laughs> Zhenjiang University is a comprehensive research university. Yes. You have multidisciplinary academic programs yeah. in engineering, law, medicine, art, literature, etc. Yes. As you know, Ecole Polytechnique is also a multidisciplinary uh, institution. Yeah. For example, the Engineer Polytechnician program uh, puts a strong emphasis on economics, uh, humanities, and foreign languages. Yes. In your opinion, what is the main challenge in terms of multidisciplinary education in times of globalization? Oh, yeah, it's a very good question. Uh, as you know, the Jiang University um, is a comprehensive university and a multi-discipline. We have uh, many disciplines, as you said, uh, covered science, medical, agriculture, engineering, etc. Uh, eco particular also very, very high rank and uh, is a multi-discipline. So we, we, we have the same strategy for training the young talent to be become the group of citizen. So uh, uh, due to the lipped progress for the high tech and uh, the social development, so our young students needed to be trained, be taught, be educated in the uh, university uh, under the motor discipline situation or environmental. So uh, uh, we look at our young students in the Jiang University to learn a lot of knowledge. For example, the student of engineering, they need to learn some humanity science and history, philosophy, etc. And also to learn some uh, new achievement of technology. Uh, we also look uh, to our students to go abroad, like uh, go to your university uh, as a partner university in the world to know about the international knowledge, to know about the uh, history or culture of uh, different country. So it's a main task and main challenge for all high or top universities in the world. Thank you for your answer. And speaking of globalization, mm. as, you, as, you, as you know, Ecole Polytechnique highly believes and supports internationalization in higher education. Yes. Our mobility programs give our students great mobility, our double degree programs oh give yeah. our students great mobility opportunities. Mm. Mm. Uh, Thirty percent of our students are international and they come from more than 60 countries in the world. Mm. What could you say about internationalization policy and practice in China and at university in particular? Okay. Also, uh, mm, for example, in Zhejiang University now, we have a, a big volume of students. Uh, total four times student in our campus is mainly is about 46, about 46,000 students. Uh, among this, we have uh, uh, more than 5,000 international student study and stay and work together with our student, Chinese student. This is uh, uh, another kind of uh, uh, situation, but uh, not uh, uh, higher as uh, equal particle. Your university is more than 30 percentage uh, of student, uh, your student from international world. So uh, in my opinion, the Jiang University will uh, change a lot. Year by year, we learn from many ideas from our partner university like uh, uh, Eco Practice in France. Uh, we also uh, uh, encourage our students have exchange program to go to the partner university. Also, uh, yesterday I met uh, uh, five of our Zhejiang University students. Uh, she and he now is uh, uh, studying in your university. It's a very good uh, arrangement. So, uh, uh, necessarily, uh, like uh, eco particles, uh, uh, you have idea, dual degree or double degree system uh, through a joint education arrangement uh, under the uh, teaching by uh, both sides. So, uh, maybe in the same classroom, French student learn together with the Chinese student or other 
country students. So we'll be studying together, can learn from each other. This is a very, very important experience in the campus learning. But also, uh, if you have the internship, uh, French students can go to China to uh, work with uh, China, uh, Chinese to uh, learn about some uh, uh, history or even culture, even Chinese food is very, very delicious, you know? And the Chinese are also very friendly of with the French people. So uh, we, we hope to set up a, a collaboration between Eco Politic and Zhejiang University. We have the same strategy. We have the same strategy. We have the same understanding for teaching our young students. So it's why we uh, come here to meet our friend here to discuss very frequently with your president and your staff to do very nice arrangement for the student uh, from both countries, even from other countries, to, to stay here or stay in Zhejiang University. Of course, I agree with you and I am sure that there is a lot mm. of work to do together. Yeah. And uh, I also know that there are 13 national key laboratories, mm. two national engineering research centers, yes. and three national engineering technology centers mm. under administration mm. of your university. Yeah. As you know, Ecole Polytechnique is not just an academic institution, mm. but also a research center. Yes. It's actually an, an international research, research center mm. with 22 laboratories. Yes. So uh, what are the most relevant research fields in China today? And could you name some key issues of uh, your university researchers mm. in 2016? Okay, mm. uh, yeah, as you know, in Zhejiang University, we are a public university. This year, uh, actually Zhejiang University is one of our oldest uh, modern universities in China. Uh, this year, we are 190 years old. So next year we are celebrate uh, the 120 years as a big event next year. Uh, yeah, you are right. We have uh, many uh, uh, key laboratory, so financial support by the state government, and also we have some uh, research center. Some is international research center, like a uh, uh, typical area. We focus the typical research interest both sides. So we we set up an uh, international. Corporation Research Center with many uh, countries, uh, top universities in the world. And uh, this is a laboratory or research center is very, very important for our, our scientific research uh, together with our students, like a master student, a PhD student, they uh, uh, are deeply involved in fundamental research and Great. also a very, very important research project. Uh, is in good process. So each year, we, we, uh, we our staff, together our students, not only teaching course, but they have a good discussion, uh, very good uh, research training, especially for graduate students. So uh, 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 we we have a, a active research a collaboration also with our partner university. Uh, Around the university, like around the your university, has many, many uh, other related research resources. So in Zhejiang University, we located uh, as Zhejiang province. It's just very close to Shanghai, as a so-called Yangtze River Delta region. It's a very, very developed region in China. It's a, uh, economy is uh, uh, very positive. So we are very happy, located a very active region, uh, many private industry or state-owned industry should have a fluent collaboration with our university. So we did uh, excellent research work. Uh, we also do very fundamental research work uh, together with our partnership staff in the, in the world. So for example, for example recent years, uh, environmental pollution problem is a hot issue of course. in the world. It's related to the emission of pollutant will be not so good for the healthy, uh, human healthy situation. And also, definitely, it's a top university, like Zhejiang University. We need to do research to find how to deal with such a social problem. 
to prevent the air pollution. So last year and this year, we have an interdisciplinary support from internal university. And together with outside university, we, we combine with like Tsinghua University, uh, stay on very big uh, industry and the international corporation did the good and the important research work to do very fundamental research for the mechanism who rem remove even very hazardous uh, matter or emission. Uh, also to, to uh, person my, my major is energy. So uh, uh, it's a sustainable energy or this energy conservation is definitely related to the global environmental situation, like uh, climate change, like uh, uh, many related social developed environment. So listen, we have a uh, big achievement to organize our group to remove or improve our environmental situation. Like uh, uh, we can always blue sky, but not everywhere in China. Like uh, capital city is uh, usually have uh, some uh, smoke or particulate emission. So not so good. So we need uh, to uh, more discipline uh, research than to solve the, some problem. So like uh, air pollution control technology and science is a big issue, a big challenge. And also we got a premier achievement in uh, recent years. Thank you very much, Yang Zhenghua, <laughs> and thank you very much for coming today and for being with us. Okay, it's my honor. Okay, thank, thank you, you for uh, inviting us to be here. And uh, we hope to strengthen the cooperation between Eco Politics and with Zhejiang University. Thank you very much. Thank you.